Welcome back to the Positively Negative podcast. Where we talk about life, love, and the pursuit of positivity in a world that can be quite negative. I'm Dalio. And I'm Team Humble, and we're glad you're here. <laughs> we I'm Team it. Humble, and I'm glad you're here. We fixed it. Da, yeah, da, fix da, that da, annoying, da. Um, fix the annoying, like, startup sound. Um, I had I know a thing it. on my, um, I had a, a message on my, my noteboard that was, that said, replace intro please yeah it's been so long i also <laughs> yes. noticed that it said in the uh, love life uh, life love and something else and the pursuit of positivity in yeah. a world that can be we never talk about negative. love we never talk about how well, cuddly and love, lo- love loving <gasps> oh we are God, we love each other <laughs> well when my brother and i were fighting my mom used to make us say out loud we love each other and no so way. sarcastically because we'd be so mad we'd be like We'd overplay it and be so like obnoxious about it. So we'd be like, "We love each other," mm. but we do. It was difficult to def- diffuse it, I guess, when you're in full tilt with the uh, yeah. With when a, your brother's being mm, a dick, a douche. Yeah. Uh, welcome back. Anyway, um, to the eight people that listen to us, it's amazing. We well, have a regular audience of eight people. More than seven. Um, some in America, some in France, one guy in Manitoba, Canada. Uh, well, I don't know if it's one guy or one one girl or who it is, but um, hello. Or that's where their VPNs are from. Well, I had a look on Google Street Maps and it didn't look... Oh, my God. It didn't look... Stalker. <laughs> I didn't really, but like, sounds good, doesn't it? But Anchor did just release like... Yeah, the stats are amazing. Analytics. As we like... I know we've been ripping them every week because they got acquired by Spotify and... But, you know, money injections are, can sometimes create some cool little tools and interfaces. So. Yeah, it's interesting how the stats suddenly came out as soon as the acquisition happened. Maybe it was part of their agreement with uh, Spotify. They were like, we need more like granular metrics on this stuff. Or maybe they had an API. Maybe the API was Spotify's and were just like, hey, we, we can hook this in and it'll give you more granular and you'll be able to work out where you need to work on your promotion better. Spotify was, was like, we got you, fam. We'll just get Zucks on the phone and we'll have all your information in probably like five minutes. Okay. Yeah, quite literally, yeah. <laughs> I kind of like it. Cause no, it is does look nice. We're, t- we're looking at it now. We just pulled it up on the, uh, on the Sweden, machine. Sweden, United Kingdom, France, United States. Wow. 20- what are you having for breakfast wherever you are? 24%. Anchor, forty five percent other, forty percent Android. Quite a high amount on Android, which is kind of surprising to me. It's good we hang around crypto people. Really, not much on an iPhone. It seems to be a lot of web and other. So people using VPNs, I guess they just block stuff or or whatever. But not as many iPhones as I expected. But I really do like the stats. I like the fact that these bars go up. That's kind of good. Uh, yes. And uh, yeah. Um, Did we ever figure out our ad problems? Yeah, I mean, the ad problem was weird. It kind of happened with the Spotify thing. It was, um, I think it was the crossover there, but it was something to do with the code in terms of where you logged in from. So if you logged in from Anchor from the UK, then it kind of just defaulted to the fact that you weren't... You weren't eligible. Yeah, ads. which kind of threw me a little bit, because if, <laughs> if you're a video blogger and you're going out and doing jobs around the world and stuff, like you might be sending it from another place. So sure. I think that... I, I don't know where that came into it. Maybe it's some kind of like sponsorship agreement thing where it's like the person should be who doing the podcast should be in the country of origin for sponsorship. Like I, I kind of get it. It's, it seems like something a, a legal team would have gin and tonics over on a Friday afternoon and laugh till 8 a.m. about how, how genius they were about, you know, rolling that out. Sounds like something crypto could fix. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely there's definitely room in the market. It's why I like D Sound so much. D Sound doesn't get enough like props for me. I, I can't believe it had its delegation removed because I I think for what that got for, for what PRC has done with that on his own, like there should be more support there. If I had if I had ten thousand delegation, if I had like plenty of steam power, I would delegate straight away because it takes a lot to develop what he's developed, and it's like it's almost like a SoundCloud for for the blockchain yeah it even I, looks similar like layout if you're familiar yeah. with soundcloud you'll feel right at home but also spotify and all these big media companies they're going around buying things up yeah so like you you position yourself in a place where it's like build the audience make the site look attractive build look at anchor and what it's got feature wise right and add those onto your existing platform and then start making some noise about it build a team of advocates i need to put wd-40 on your chair why is it squeaking it's squeaky as hell driving me crazy 
<laughs> Don't come knocking. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the chair, we promise. Uh, yeah, but I agree. And also when those people do have their gin and tonic times, they'll be able to be like, hey, you ever heard of crypto? We've got SoundCloud, but with crypto. I think it scares them to death. Crypto, like blockchain, Netflix. Bitcoin. It's it's uh, it's an uncool word right now, though. To well, be honest. Every, I, yeah. I think after speaking to like the team in fr- at Frame.io about it, anything in New York City to do with blockchain or Bitcoin or anything, everybody's out of it. You know, all their friends who've got that's like what they said. Yeah, all their friends who've got like mining equipment in Brooklyn, they're all done now. Like because because <laughs> it went from twenty to three k, it's like it's super uncool. Super uncool because like it just looks like a loss. You see, you've got to remember, a lot of those people aren't in it for the community. A lot right. of people aren't in it for the technology. A lot of people are in it just to make a book. Like, literally right. put in, you know, somebody says to them, like, crypto's going to go through the roof, and they even your brother, like, getting in at 9 or 13 or whatever and seeing it go to 20, mm-hmm. if he was smart, he'd, he'd flip it and get out. But they're not there for the tech or the community or, like, they're not yeah. bothered about ledgers or blockchain. Like, it, it's a database to them. Like, most yeah. people, it's a database. Well, I don't think you can say that for all of New York. I'd find it hard to believe that there are not pockets of people. Oh, no doubt. But like the media people companies, that, that, media companies. Yeah, the people that Frame I O roll with, I'm sure, are in that category. Right. Okay. So, I mean, I wasn't saying like everybody in New York City hates blockchain. What What I was really saying is that Frame I O, and that's why I prefaced it with Frame I O. Yeah, yeah. Um, seems I have to like be. Oh, know. stop! Don't get cranky about it. We love each other. Well, it just drives me nuts that we have to almost be these kind of like. I just hate blanket statements. I hate. I, hate, because they, I, I understand. They that. push people to like I, those okay, borders and those fair. extremities that that's we don't fair. like. That's fair. That's that is absolutely fair. I just don't like that intell- intellectual masturbation that goes no, on. No, no, and shut it's down. not about. It's not even about like being factually. I like, did say though. Accurate. I did say Brooklyn. I did say like the miners in Brooklyn. Yeah. Like the frame IO people who they're hanging with. Are they with. in Brooklyn? No, 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 no. They're friends who are in Brooklyn. Like what I mean by <laughs> that so is... so funny. Brooklyn, the relationship of Brooklyn and Manhattan is like, oh, we're not in Brooklyn, but we got friends in Brooklyn. Well, they have to use that single speed bike somehow, I'm don't they, you. to get back and forth. So, <laughs> like, I mean, most of the people working in the team and on the squad, like you yeah. can't help but... Look, if you're working for a big company like that and you're getting 50K, 100K a year and you're working on the media team and you're working on the strategy and the social media and you're like, how can we get like Drake or somebody to use our platform and, and show that it they can make their stuff faster? Like they're, they're running like parallel strategies to build products that they can like jump into that arena and subversively sell their product at right. the same time. So a lot of those people are going into work like I've got, you know, with my money, I've spent 10 grand on mining equipment and it's making me X amount of money. And then, you know, like things go out of fashion real quick in the city, yeah. don't they? Let's yeah, be honest. I will say like, that. Like in a night, <laughs> you know, you go to a mixer and it's like, mm, it's over now. Like we've done what we need to do. We'll check this box we're off. We're over cupcakes and we're on to donuts yeah, now. exactly. Yeah, with the program. And we're actually, donuts are already over and we're on to cronuts. Right. And cronuts actually were over. I don't even know what came after cronuts. I was a little bit in that scene because I was food blogging. And it really, mm. even with food, it was like. Rapid. No, we make everything out of ramen now. This is New York City. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, we came up with it. We branded it. It's cool. Have you ever heard of a ramen burger? We just did. And it's the coolest thing you've ever seen. It's yeah, all- every city's like that. That's what the, that's the momentum. The momentum is the currency really in the city. Yeah. LA is very much like 100x that. No, thanks. East Coast, Plus, West like, Coast buys are in it. Yeah, well, you know who I rep. It's amazing what seven or eight hours in between you can like change opinions about stuff. It's a huge difference, and I think weather affects it too. Like, think about Boston and Chicago versus a place like L.A. That is something that I think is completely... You are developed as a human being by extremely harsh winters and weather conditions. Think about how hipsters, <laughs> how it's going to change the whole culture of things. So if somebody comes up with something in New York that's really, really cool and, and new and fresh, jumps on Elon Musk's Hyperloop, gets to L.A. in 30 minutes and is like, this is the coolest shit, yo. You know, it's like literally spreading memes by taking the stock on the Hyperloop all the way to LA and be like yeah I've got it here yeah, before anybody like, else be with like quote unquote cool stuff is such a weird parabola because if it's too early it's not cool enough yet because it hasn't been recognized as cool but once it hits that like tip tipping peak of too many people know about it and think it's cool and if so, if like it's being talked about on the nightly news or Ellen 
and moms know about it. Now it's not cool. Scenes don't last now. <laughs> Scenes so, don't last. I mean, it's such escapes. a tipping, tiny, tiny tipping point where you have your, not even like, what do they say? Everybody's got their five, 15 minutes of fame. Does it down to about 30 milliseconds. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> it's li- it is literally because the skateboarding, break dancing, you know, all of those things, they lasted years. Yeah. Not anymore. Like, literally, no. somebody says something on Reddit and it's 24 hours and then somebody's on to well, somebody maybe, else. I think that's also why, like, meme culture is becoming so huge because it's like, we don't want to take the time to actually take anything seriously. So it'll just be a joke for a couple weeks. And mm. every so everything becomes, like, memeified instead of actually being a cool trend. Because if you look at fashion also, there's no... I, they're not that I can see there's no predominant fashion or look like if you think about fashion in the 70s or the 60s or the 20s you that brings like a style to mind now I think because of the internet and everybody's sharing and collaborating and ideas and just kind of like not really participating in what they're being told mm. to wear mm. they're really I can't think of like a look for now and well, maybe that's because you're too close to it, and you need to be. Yeah, you probably reflective. need to be. At, you probably need to be at the very top of the the food chain for that. For for you to really see the seasons of that change, because the real the real pieces, almost like galleries and art, it's like the real pieces cost a lot of money. Whereas the the influencers and stuff, they're they're always going to be ripping off the look. Right. In but in I their memey way. But I don't even know what that look. Yeah, it's like. Well, it's because that's because the culture is mash up now. The culture yeah. isn't. The culture isn't. I say culture. It's probably the wrong word to use, but there's no. There's no ten thousand hours now. Like it's. Yeah, it must exactly. be very difficult for somebody to break into an industry who's like studied really hard, and they're like, you know, some Japanese like guy who's like an incredible like fashion designer craftsman it must be level. Re- yeah exactly yeah. and that's the point it, it's people want the payoff and they want the storytelling but they don't necessarily want to put the hours right. in i saw a hat maker from denmark and i couldn't work out if he really was a hat maker or he'd just been doing it for a couple of years because his packaging was so damn good mm-hmm. that i was like am that I being, made you suspicious yeah, like am i being oh, spun this up am in I, a weekend am i being instagrammed here yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like his packaging and his video was so good that it was like the hats can't be that good i'm not sure <laughs> if you're just importing them fucking hats from china right. man. like did you really do right. the work i don't know and so and and i think that's generational I yeah. think it's generational in terms of the amount of QVC shopping channel shit we well, watched because, when we were kids. Because we all have an internal calculator, and you know how much it takes to get packaging on unlock, get design Those numbers unlocked. ain't adding up. Yeah, so it's like, okay, I physically know how long it takes for a packaging for a skincare line to come out and to look good. Yeah, because you make and it. I, yeah, right. and I know the effort that goes into that. And if right. you can spin that up in like... A half a day some's some doesn't add up right. some's not right you either ripped it off or you're cutting like you can't stretch time like that especially now because you've got like things like legal like it went through so many iterations in terms of going in the stores and then certain stores in certain states like oh yeah. you can't do this you can't say that the packaging needs to be changed yeah but uh, uh <sighs> You know, a well-oiled Plain machine man. in the twenty in the in the 21st century, a well-oiled machine is one where the people that you have on your team actually have learned to do that job. Yes, and I would say, like, back to the hat-making thing, if I were to put my Gary V hat on, because I've listened to so many hours of Gary V over the years that I feel like I could respond in the way that he would respond, would be that those areas are the biggest areas for those people to really, really win. Because there are fewer of them, like the craftsmen, the people, like... Uh, perfect thing of Gary, right? Yesterday, I saw something... You know the 80-20 rule, right? You've heard of the 80-20 it's rule. It's like, like the jab-jab-right hook? Well, like 80% uh, like uh, focused on your product and 20% like learning some... Like Google do it. So they allow you to like spend oh, 20% oh, okay. on, a, on a personal project. Gary, in his own way, was like, it's the 79-21 method. Like, what that's, a jerk. No, but, that, that, but that's Gary. That's that that... But that, but that is the new economy. The new economy is yes, everything that existed before that's been defined as this is right. Apart from what I'm doing is I'm spinning it now because I'm confident in that whatever you ask of me, I'm going to be able to react to it. Yeah, that's the world, the economy that we live in now, right? It, yeah. You know, I see so many things happening on the Steam blockchain where I'm like, it, it, it's permission culture, like. We, we might have changed a few like governances in terms of centralized companies and teams mm. but decentralized 
it's very difficult. I, I don't see how decentralization is going to going to do is going to solve the governance thing because we, I I don't know how I can have relationships with some of these people. Mm. You know, like maybe the tools need to evolve. Like maybe I mean they're trying to like make the tools evolve. Maybe Discord is not enough. Maybe we need. Oh, Discord we, is you know not enough. I mean? Discord is a gaming chat. But it's for gamers. What I'm saying is like I think we're ahead of the technology in the sense of internet connectivity and latency. When we can all be, when borders don't matter, yeah, exactly. and like a little hologram of somebody can pop up in the room, then maybe like maybe that's the missing piece that we're missing because we're we don't have that like face to i mean of course there's video chat it exists but it's not the same like mm. we're both very that's actually an interesting thought like we're people who pick up vibes of other people yeah. and like auras yeah and i wonder if that transfers through a hologram what auras yeah like Maybe. you know when you get to just you just pick up a vibe off of somebody after having we always say like oh I'd have to have a face to face with them to well, know. Well I'm telling you I'm not going to have like the first version of the electrodes that you have to attach to your genitals to like get the reaction that you No. I'm not going to be the first version to test that shit. No, that's not what I'm talking about with auras. <laughs> you don't get a tingly sensation in your private parts when you get an aura reaction? An aura? No. I love okay, the, I love aura that. I lo oral. I got you. I went there. I, I found it. I, I love I that it. look on your face when you're so like, like dumbfounded I'm by my I'm talking about idiot. mystical shit. Oh. With my idiocy, you look at me like, are you really this much like, of an do idiot? Do we just do that? Like, if there, is a, if there is a pun to be made with the word oral, you'll find it. Oh it just will happen. Oh, my God. Um, so positive. Uh, you, 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 you <laughs> pointing. You. Oh yes, and when there's one finger pointing at someone else, there's three pointing back at you. So don't forget that. Um, Just because you did a VO yesterday for a meditation, I feel like I am a highly relaxed person. <laughs> <laughs> You've been crushing it this week. You've absolutely you. been crushing it this week. Thank you. I could do it with a lot more like normal work come in instead of just like tinkering away at these things um i i'm not mad about it i'm a little bit negative about it i'm a bit i tell you what i'm more negative about at the minute is that the judgments that we put on people like myself included i put these on, on other people the way that i interpret them and the way they interpret me it's kind of sad really it's kind of sad that we live in a in a world where we can't mediate that stuff. And I don't know if it's technology. I don't know if it's just the perception of who they think we are, who I think they are. Well, give an example of like a judgment that you're talking about. Well, like, I mean, I read a lot of news, you know that, but like one of, one of them was like, I've, I've just seen that North Korea's pulled out of this like communications offices, office they've set up with South Korea, right? So they had this like firm kind of like, we're going to set up a comms channel back and forth it's going to connect how countries are going to be good. They just shut it down. It's like, fuck this, it's not working. Wait, oh. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Like, just yesterday. So we're back to square one of, so like, North Korea. what we said at the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. All of, <laughs> all of that and the document they signed and Trump going to see him and all that, it's all like, they've shut it down, it's done. Okay, And cool. And it's just, it's just sad that we, we go back to this. And it's kind of the reason why I avoid business and groups and... Communi some communities is because I just don't trust the grey suited small talk ra around it almost comes across like you have to be a certain kind of in intellectual educated person who can kind of bend the truth right yeah, like a lawyer <laughs> like and I, I just can't stand it it's, I just can't stand it I yeah. can't stand middle I can't stand the middle men well, and i don't mean i don't mean the middle middle men of business in terms of like we have a product we're going to put our slither on top and we're going to sell it and we don't didn't do much but thanks very much we, we're the transition conduit part in the middle look i respect everybody who's so everybody's journey and intelligence yeah. and intellect and, and education everybody has the right to participate that, right. that or not right so. but i the moment i start feeling that i'm in a battle of intellect i'm out I'm just fucking out. Yeah. So this the, this whole idea, like, I, I don't know who, who was right or wrong in that whole thing with North Korea and South Korea and, and, and Trump, but I have a feeling that Trump <laughs> would have walked in there and been like, big dick, swinging it around the room, like, I want to build hotels here and I want to do this and we could both have massive economies. And I feel like, I don't know what North Korea is, I'm just surmising, but I feel like he might have been like, 
this is our one chance to get it right let's let's try it the fact that they even set up this south korean office to com to have comms channels back and forth was like really encouraging and now it's off again and it's now there's a fear now there's a fear for me like i don't want to live my life in fear but like there is a fear for me that it's just like why do we keep doing this shit why do we allow ego and vanity to get in the way of real communication because Discord, maybe they should Discord's get on Discord. for gamers. It's a game. No, People maybe Trump and <laughs> <laughs> they should get on the Discord audio That's channel. never going to happen. No, I mean... I don't know where I, I was going with that. I'm just like I both think, positive and negative about it. But see, it's interesting to me that you, in your mind, the way you described that, you went into like having to know or surmising about the motives of each. Like this guy went in here and did that and that guy did this. Yeah. Maybe this is how it played out. Yeah, yeah. Whereas like if I were to read that, I'd be like, well, of course they didn't. And I personally think that they go into those meetings. The meeting is just for show and they go into those meetings already decided about what they're going to do. Yeah, no doubt. And no doubt, but but like, be, but I can't. The have, meeting's just the formality, which is equally frustrating for me I, because it's if, such a waste I, of time. But if but I can't, I can't divide that if everything therefore is a formality in life. Like, yeah, what the it's fuck? A, it's just a charade, like, if you will. Are we just like scenes in a Netflix three D holographic projection? Like, I just, I just find, I, I just find sometimes the predictability of something so fucking average boring yeah well that's my that's my point is i would have read that article and been like well of course they didn't get anything and then people wonder <laughs> like, why people do memes and a short a short attention span or yeah. a sh you know because it, escapism and nostalgia the, is the drug of choice also, at the people, moment people don't seem to remember that people have built up frustrations year after year after year after being crushed by their local authorities or their governments or their you know promises of like green economy and more jobs and mm. more this like that stuff doesn't go away. I don't forget it. Yeah. Like, so you're asking me, you're asking a lot of me to reinvest in a dream, yeah. right? <laughs> right. So, I mean, that frustrates me. It frustrates me. I, like, the unity of planet Earth, because of where all the power lies, has to come, unfortunately, from the top. I, I, I wish know. no. I wish it was a bottom up. Uh, uh, everybody's. I just think that there's everyone. It won't. It won't. But what I'm saying right. is, they're the ones that ultimately, like, press the button for the armies, press the button for military, yada yada yada. Well, maybe we it, need it to check the up. button away. Like, maybe I. What I like about decentralization is that you keep saying, like, well, how can we have governance with decentralization? Maybe, maybe governance is supposed to be three people. I could probably get along with three or four people, like <laughs> micro communes. Do you know what I mean? I the love way that. that. Like the I love, way that I love people, that. The street way, level. Yeah, and like self govern, self governing, personal responsibility. That one's for you, Krim. Like, <laughs> the, I all right. Think, so, so that's what I right, mean. That's so what personal, I think decentralization so, allows is like tiny, tiny, tiny pockets. What of does people. personal responsibility mean to you? Personal responsibility means that I'm responsible for my own health wealth and happiness okay my the way that i participate with a large government at the moment mm. doesn't really allow for that because the government can do things that can affect my health wealth and happiness right, at the right. minute. okay <laughs> and so even though the government can't dictate my choices in the way that i i treat people that's obviously always on on me um i don't have as much control over my health wealth and happiness as well, but, I mean, you do have, have control over your happiness always, of course. But do you know what I mean? In terms of what, what we think of, if you take monetary things out of the word prosperity, if your government has to do with your prosperity, if what jerks in suits in meetings across the world can throw back gin and tonics and laugh and sign a piece of paper that fucks you, that government is too large. Is, is that because of media and films and uh, news articles that we assume that it's always like a grey suited room of old boys like fucking the world up I think that's because even of, TVs you, because and movies because, what, because, because what I see because what I see a lot as well these days and the reason why I worked solely with women in the early days of South by Southwest is because I just couldn't stand the sit down um, so what I'm trying to do is validate it the positive yeah. and negative sides of this every time I've I've been in those environments that has been the truth like yeah. have had blokes yeah. sitting at a table ordering hundred dollar bottles That's of fucking wine, like saying like how how much they're gonna get a new fucking car. They care about the car. Yeah. Whereas I can speak to one social media manager, one woman, and by the time I get to the next party, they're like, oh, such and such said that she, you know, they've already texted each other and said you want to find Hell what yeah. Phil's up to. You know what I mean? Like 
that to, that to me so the micro communes that you're on about fucking totally down with yeah. that street level like street level totally down humans, with that I don't think as humans we were meant to organize past a certain a certain point in I mean, groups I've seen it with churches I've seen it with schools I've seen it with every organization there's a max density mm. where like Things start getting a little skimmed from the top, a little backdoor meetings, a little this, a little that. Yeah, yeah. The only way to like the only way to avoid that is for everyone to be in earshot of everybody else. And you have that has to be in a small group. Mm. Because if Johnny and Stevie are over there plotting something, guess what? I'm right up in your business fam. There are only three of us in here. <laughs> yeah. it, and that that also fosters personal responsibility because there's nothing to hide behind. Mm. So that's like my that's my little digital and uh, economical and political utopia personally. A, li- a little part of that as well just like reminded me of last night when I, I, I jumped in I jumped in occasionally for MSP Waves last night mm. and they were talking about governance and stuff and there's a lot of people on there that there's, there's a lot of people in there that I won't communicate with because I just I can't stand any kind of drama. Yeah. I'm too old for any kind of drama and people might say well you cause drama. Well um I don't know how I cause drama. I just do me, right? Mm-hmm. I'd love to have a communication with these people, but I need that face-to-face. Yeah. I need to sit and drink with you. I need to sit and eat with you. I can't do virtual decentralized, like, governance. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know how... I don't know if you are you. I don't know if you're right. a fucking head in a big fucking bubbling pot. I have no yeah. idea. So, and also being a mod over the last nine months, one thing that's proven about working in a community is that there's a lot of people just in there to fucking take yeah like even your energy your focus your efforts they'll just take 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 regardless of like you being a human being with with dehumanized decentralization is is also rapidly dehumanizing us Mm. i think so more so than centralization yeah i think faster well everything is accelerated right so but anyway back to the point okay sorry last night there was all these governance plans and they were great they were all great but there was one commonality in all of it is that there was this almost like undercurrent of power play positioning yeah of this is going to be the power these are going to be the core people and these are going to and it's always the same people it's always the same but it's interesting how now money has come to the table it's kind of like Mm -hmm. it's interesting who shows their cards yeah. And who, like, uses... Uh, and the way that people use... Anyway, I don't want to get into the drama. Like, but the point is, yeah. I would be more involved with these things. And I would be happy to evolve as a person, as a human being. Mm-hmm. Right? Less about ego and vanity and compliance. And, and more about definitions of what what that governance will achieve when it gets there. Like... What is the ultimate goal here? Distribution? Like, are we distributing more to like a level playing field? Are we, right. try- are we trying to very level abstracted that? Abstracted sometimes. Like, I, I can't do abstraction. Yeah. Like, I might jump in when you've got a governance model in place, and it's like, here's some work, and you can do it, and you can get paid for that. It's cool. Right. All right. Well, I'll I, turn up. I think that's something that we both do is we kind of like hang back and we see how things are shaping up, and then we can kind of see where the pocket is where we can serve or help or. But I'm not going to do or, rules. I I, yeah. I don't do rules. Well, okay. This is like the this is why original OG America the concept or like the beta of what the United States was was yeah, so command- cool yeah, yeah. because each state was I was about like, to say the commandments but that's not <laughs> no, what it is each state was like this is what we do over here we're Vermont and we like XYZ and then Texas was like okay fam we like this over here and if you don't like it move to Vermont so yeah. like the the way that they and that's less and less now in the states it's you know there's a lot more federal power just making blanket rules for every state mm. where that was kind of the beauty of it is like okay i don't vibe with this group of people over here i think that people should i don't think that people should be legally required to wear seat belts fuck mm. that is my life i can do what i want all right move up to new hampshire that's what they're cool with their state motto is live free or die <laughs> So if that's your vibe, get up there. I like that wanna... with Austin as well. Like you arrive in the airport, it's like, welcome to Austin, but ultimately go home. Yeah. <laughs> so like, like, yes. So you're free to find the group and your your tribe, you know, your whatever. You're free to find the people that you vibe with. You have your own governance. You decide what works for you. And if you don't like it, you're more than free to go find a group that you, that is, you know, more of your tempo, your pace or or fits with your values and that evolves for me but the smaller those have to be small small pockets yeah yeah it evolves for me because like every year i find more precious i think the older i get the more 
the less I, I'm not even interested about increasing my quality of life, just maintaining, like, just being in it, present within it, rather mm. than an abstraction. So, yeah, in, in abstracted circles, like, it just becomes like every bar that I've ever sat in at seven o'clock on a Friday night anywhere in the world. Like, it's just, you sit on any table in any bar in any club the conversations around you are people's dreams of what they wish they were doing with their right. life. But yet they're still in that bar, bar and they're all probably they have the same it. conversation last week and they're going to have right. the same conversation the next week. So everybody's trying to mobilize these like internal governance models by like articulating that with their small little group of people around a table. And, and, and I, I, I can't, you know, there's nothing for me in that. Yeah, well, I mean, the, if we're going to treat, not to say that this is what's being done with any specific example, but if we're going to, if we're going to take decentralized technology and then just slap it, you know, it's like putting like a Chevy Yugo engine <laughs> inside of a Tesla. It's like, what are we doing? Like, what, let's not apply old rules to new technology. It's well, just going to screw it up. I mean, I've already been through this before when um, Jan, which was this audio engineer in New York who was doing all these production shows and everything, she set up a thing called Node 101 she was just pissed off at video blogging she was like it's got no purpose and i think a lot of people on steam also look at dtube and like what the fucking hell's the purpose of this like people are doing all this shit i think well there is that (laughs) so So, i'm so shady i'm sorry that's all right so it's conversation it's just conversation use the right hashtag it's just conversation it's just like coffee chat get the reward so the yeah but also at the same time it's an acknowledgement that you were there at that time on the ledger like yeah there is an upvote attached yeah. to it but the, if, if that's the problem then the core code should be changed so that it doesn't work like that right but then if you lose all your users then you have nothing to build on top of or for so it's like a balance of we're in an odd situation yeah. because you're, you're trying to convince people who are on centralized platforms who think the internet is Facebook who are actually don't give a fuck that Facebook is leaking their data all over the place because if they did they would leave and they don't leave yeah. they don't leave even though their data gets sold they're like that's ah, alright it's Facebook it's like who, what the fuck there, there no, is no there yeah. is no privacy people don't care about it yeah. they don't care about having all their shit leaked their ID leaked they don't care that they live also in Singapore at the same time as LA like they don't <laughs> they don't give a fuck yeah. they, don't, they don't give a fuck they're, yeah. they're quite happy for it to fall over they won't come to steam it because there's four damn passwords like and if you lose it you can't recover it like all of these things yeah right um so jan she set up this thing called no 101 she just wanted to she she was ahead of her time really she realized it was like 50 to 100 video bloggers all around the world and they were decentralized they were just nodes in the network right but what she did is she kind of motivated people to be more open as to what you're doing in your life where you're going collaboration like i would love to see more video collaboration projects on steam i think that could be huge I mean, Nathan's doing some great work with the sit-up stuff. And I mean great by the fact that it mobilizes people to be level the playing field of like, I can do that. Everybody knows mm-hmm. what a press up is. Like, I don't know if it's sustainable or green or climate friendly to have all those videos on DTube of people doing press ups. But same could be said about YouTube. Like, sure. but, uh, but we can take that platform and I know he's thinking like this. He can take that platform and leverage it and actually be like, all right, fitness active fit like it, it all comes together it gets people looking at the story of active fit the dap the, the blockchain more than fitbit you buy a fitbit it's 80 pounds on your wrist that's the transaction that's the deal like mm. fitbit doesn't necessarily give a fuck yeah about your fitness it just wants to sell your product like yeah. they would argue that and say no actually we're building it for health and fitness but and their community efforts have been so half-assed because i've had a fitbit for like not to pull rank or anything but i've had a fitbit for very long and i've seen the iterations of the app and it's like yeah, there's more community so on active fit in a year than there yeah. is on fitbit so it's so half yeah it's so, so it can fast. work so, these things can work they are there yeah so yeah jan did this like 100 video bloggers to call it node 101 and it was like i felt like it was ahead of its time and like you said earlier on there's a vibe i need to feel that vibe there throughout a number of people for i'm like okay this is enough gravity to keep me attracted to it yeah and at the minute all i see is not just with steam not just with decentralization just just life in general i just see 
people in very and, and, and i guess it's the state of the where the world is yeah but i think it's also Survival. because it's because of the volatility of crisp crispo crispo <laughs> so, what's that i think i'm hungry I think I need crisp lunch. bow <laughs> Cri- is that a new youtube channel crispo crip crypso calypso <laughs> crypso con- conditioning uh no Dandruff because cream. of because of the volatility of crypto yeah Everyone's got a foot out the door. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's positioning so that when the chips fall, the government decides this, or the price moons, or the price dives, that they want to be in the right place for that. So it's a different experience than people who are just like contributing toward a common goal and building something. Yeah. Like the analog version would be if we were just trying to, you know, build a farm on some property. One day, one zucchini is not going to be three hundred size times the size of what it was today. So, like, you can have a you can have just a more measured growth uh, centric teamwork, you know, collaboration. But I think instead of growing, I think people are interested in winning because that's what people do is they want well, to win. Well, you don't have to look at you don't have to look at crypto, right? It's it's upset and remixed and taken over the world. The people in those realms have got money that they've never dreamed of or never had of had before, and they're using it in underground ways. You know, like he- heavy metal is is hacked, like ATMs, Swift, hydro dams. You know, very specialist malware, very yeah. specialist, and the money is coming from those cryptocurrencies. You know, like so. There's a there's a there's a balance equation that always like concerns me is that the balance is you know like Depeche Mode yeah. said Depeche Mode said it in the 80s keep the balance right yes. and the balance is fucked right but now every that's the problem is everybody <laughs> and I don't think it will ever go back everybody has their own scale that's calibrated a different way sure and that's the that's the problem I think you're really getting on with with governance everybody has their agreeing. bubble everybody has their governance bubble right and so if your scale isn't calibrated the same way mine is my values and your values don't meet up then we then we should be in a decentralized situation free to be like tip my hat and see see you never i'm gonna go do my thing over here you you're more than free to go do your thing over there right, it doesn't right, have right. to be no one one size fits all right yeah right compliance i really wish i was just the flight of the navigator it'd be a lot easier to just like what, two miles up let's go just park there this is great quiet oh you hear that what's that i don't know something just started happening wait when you put your ha- wait when you put your hand in the sky just now <gasps> am i an aerial uh, yeah no joke i'm receiving you're, from if you the can sky. hear this let us know if you're listening does it go when i do yes. that oh that's weird i don't know what that is there was like a hum must be my magnetic personality wow. oh baby sure you have like a metal plate in your head or something i probably need one <laughs> Uh, are we going to talk about anything today apart yeah, from I had just, a, I had just a link. ranting? Do we have time? Because we haven't had much to eat. To eat. We're just like you know, we the embodiment of, of like frustration. We ran annoyance. out of flour to make breads, and then basically our entire main food group falls apart. Was it? That. Was it about that? Your body is your yeah, internet. Yeah, yeah. I found this really cool article uh, titled "Your Body Is Your Internet, and Now It Can't Be Hacked." So I'm just going to read a brief segment, and we it can talk about it. It can't be hacked, or it can be. It can't. So it's actually really cool what they've developed. So researchers have protected your pacemaker and other medical tech from remote hacks before they happen. I um, believe that. So someone could hack into your pacemaker or insulin pump and potentially kill you. This is something we know just by intercepting and analyzing wireless signals. This hasn't happened in real life yet, but researchers have been dem- demonstrated, demonstrating for at least a decade that it's possible. So, uh, before the first crime happens, Purdue University engineers have tightened security on the Internet of Body. Hang on a minute. Internet of Body. Hang hang on a minute. Hang on. Before it happens. They can't prove... The first crime. Of course it's already happened. Just because it's not been documented... Well, that's why I guess the definition of crime has to be documented. Researchers, man, they'll get money. The the way that researchers get... Anyway. Okay. So now the network you didn't know you had is only accessible by you and your devices thanks to technology that keeps communication signals within the body itself. Um, we're can, blah, 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 blah. So basically, the human body carries electrical signals well. Now those signals can be contained within close proximity of the body thanks to new technology. So basically, the signals that your body uses, electromagnetic signals that you just have because you're alive, there's a specific signature to that. And that's what they're saying can't be hacked. What if somebody uses an ECG 
hacked ECG and sticks it on you as if you were having a heart attack and just reprograms your electrical currents. I don't know that your I electrical currents... I just don't think... Look, when somebody says it can't be hacked, that's I bollocks. <laughs> like, if that started with they found a way to use quantum technology to enable something, then maybe, because I believe the maths of quantum is just so, like, fucking parallel, fifth dimension, that it that it could potentially not be helped. Okay, so this diagram actually helps. It it's actually it's works with a device that's a wristwatch, and it keeps the communication signals within your body so that no one can hack into medical equipment such as pacemakers. So in a traditional model, you have almost like like we're talking about auras later or earlier. We we have like this bubble around us. That's our electric electromagnetic sphere around us. This is what they're saying. So in this model that's actually contained underneath your skin. So okay. someone would need to actually physically penetrate your body okay. in order to get access to those signals instead of it being just like an orb around you that someone in proximity could could jump on. Okay. So, um, I don't know. I think that's interesting. Do I think that this is the end-all, be-all technology of solve, like, oh, check that box, we solved that problem. No, but it's interesting that people are already spending time and energy into trying to get ahead of these things because they know that they're going to be an issue. I think somebody will just discover miniaturization and then we'll have an inner space moment and somebody oh, will man. have a submarine inside them that's just transmitting whatever they want. Look, I feel, that, I, I, I feel that most of the time researchers and re research money, like you, you write something or you put something out that sounds like it's solving a problem in society. Yes. They chuck gobs of money at it. Like you go to university, you study, you put research papers in. Those research papers are then the property of the university. They promise to put them on a website. You don't see them for two or three years. They, they disappear. Like that information is superseded by other information. I just, to be honest, I think it's just another racket, if I'm honest. Well, you think that everything that I... Not say everything that rack. you say. No, 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 no. You're taking it personal. It's no, just no. a link. I know, I know. But I... Th everything could be hacked. Period. Okay. For me. Fine. My opinion. Great. Like, <laughs> do I believe that if I have an electronic pacemaker that wearing a watch is going to solve it? What if I forget the watch? Well, yeah. I mean, what if you don't lock your house before you leave the house? To be honest, if I'm having a heart thing, I'm pretty screwed anyway because I'm the clumsiest motherfucker in the universe. So. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably not doing the greatest uh, job explaining this in the because of, you know, I'm trying to be brief and like su and overly summarize it so yeah. that this isn't, you know, I don't drag the momentum down here. Um, but we should include the link and there is like a YouTube video. It's obviously very, very, very early. They don't have like a fully fledged watch device that looks like a watch. It's like right. very primitive looking. But I do like the idea that your electromagnetic signals that are going on in your body, that everybody has a specific signature. So it's a different type of bio verification, like a thumbprint or a retinal scan or, and, or you know, any of that stuff. Do you think if they attached one to me, it'd be like, fuck off, fuck <laughs> off. Just, just like putting out the, anger just and putting out this like al you know like aliens with that red sweeping thing of like when the aliens come it's just go away go away <laughs> just like maybe. audio version of my aura is just like this maybe. negative thing and maybe if we can like measure and quantify or visualize that is that because you're mystical in the pisces though and you like the idea of energy i like the idea i like the idea that i'm like a, a unique. unique snowflake everybody wants to be unique everybody is unique oh. It's true. Well, Biologically we're, speaking, there's... We're meat sacks. Okay, fine. You're, but you're a unique meat sack, is my point. So? There's never been another meat What's unique sack about? like you. So? Why, why, do we, why do we glorify that? Because there is a value in things that have, that have scarcity. That's the whole point of, like... Yeah, if you're an asteroid... Thing. <laughs> if you're anything, a, a one of a kind thing inherently has value because it can't be duplicated or... or stamped or reprocessed or copy copied well or mass produced is the word i'm looking for and so that so, thing inherently so, so has how, value okay so how does this device change your relationship with you being unique if somebody else is then having governance over your fucking chemical nobody has governance over it it's using your you're using a piece of hardware or software to protect your body you're indebted to that company okay 
Sure, but the but the way that the device works is based on a signature that you have inherently, and that can't be cracked. Okay. <laughs> why does that make Why does that make you so upset? Because it's it, it, it's kind of like. <laughs> Ground sign like, having a mental breakdown. It's like running out of it's like running out of pop chips or Pringles. It's like oh, I'll finish. Them I feel now. like you should have read the article before you're you're critical of it. Because Everything can be hacked. I don't believe for one minute it can't be hacked. Uh, the second thing is if it makes people who have pacemakers or augmented elements in their body f- make them feel safer, it wins. From remote hackers, that's the that's the part. Oh, so it doesn't work from somebody on the bus next to you. Well, if somebody you know shanks you with like a a, a node, <laughs> a, an electromagnetic node on the bus, you get a quick pop pop in the liver or something. You got bigger problems. I'm talking about somebody in you know. So this company is Eastern... definitely not based in Jersey then. <laughs> Fucking pop they pop bring, in the liver. They should bring me on as a hell, consultant. Fine. You should do the social media strategy buys. I can see the thirty well, second intro videos now. <laughs> Only Listen. works if you don't get pop popped in the liver. <laughs> Listen, Jesus. I, all I can tell you is that the people who wrote this article and who are developing this technology have never ridden the six train after eight p.m. That's true. So fine, it, of course it has faults. I'm never going to be able to bring you a link or an article or share something with you that is completely airtight and doesn't have parts to pick apart. But that's what makes you unique, Biza. Thanks. But it makes you unique that you can find any, the slightest vulnerability in any possible thing and suck all of the joy out of it. Correct. I mean... I'm not, I'm not presenting, or I think because the so way that... So it was joy for you. So that, no. so that, that's interesting. So the post <sighs> was, no, no, no. I'm exhausted. Does it, yes. does it enhance your notion of what uniqueness is then? Does it make you feel more reinforced? No. That somebody is willing to protect your unique I, identity. No, I get excited, and you you can see this with my hunts on Steam Hunt. I get excited when people iterate on top of Mother Nature's perfect design, and when people take things, take cues and things from what already exists in nature, and build on top of it and improve that. Maybe I'm destined to be a cyborg, but and I think, but I also think that your part of your frustration comes from the fact that the way that these are written is from. A remote worker or an intern who oh, work. They, and they have to put it out there like it's the end all be all greatest thing that's ever happened and that's and that's you how have, they get funding right and you have a knee jerk reaction to that because you're like because it's not the greatest thing that ever happened but I like I don't pay attention to any of that I'm just looking at what the person made what it means and what they're trying to achieve and how they did it and that's what I find interesting but I don't I think you're having a reaction to the package of it being like... You don't have to tell me shiny, what I'm doing. Shiny, shiny, no, you don't have shiny, to tell shiny. me how I'm reacting to it. Like, I know I know you're frustrated that you presented it to me and I didn't have the reaction you expected. I don't ha- expect you to have a positive reaction ever. But there's 20... That's a bit uncalled I'm, for, but like, <laughs> I, I respect it. I respect I, it. I'm not sitting res- here waiting for a positive reaction. <laughs> I have no expectations when it comes to you. Wow. But I respect it. I mean, there's also a, a time period in a, a, on planet Earth between, like, you know, there's years between, there's 10, 13 odd years between me and you. So, yes. like, I have, I have a bit more pissed offness, grumpiness carrying with me. But you can, you can select the parts that you enjoy about it and jettison. I the rest. instantly jettison all of it when it's when the title is hack proof. So then, okay, so I won't read titles from now on. Well, because then that. I feel like no, you're, you're frustrated. Closed, you're you're you're, then you're frust- not listening to it because de- they've already gone off on a bad foot with you. I'm not taking it personally because I didn't write the damn thing, and you know I would have done it different. But do you know what I'm saying? Like now, because the title was not in the in the way, the title pissed you off, and then it's like, well, no, this it, is all it wasn't. It wasn't the title that just pissed me off. It was the fact that <laughs> I, my relationship with information that is supposedly in the public sector especially when it comes to research okay especially when it gets submitted like you go to college you go to university for like five years or, or more you work in a lab on something like this very cool like you go into it every day you're getting paid as a researcher like you're you're creating technology you're taking the latest and greatest technologies and you're applying it in a on, on something that you were like maybe you had an uncle or something that you were like fuck if I, if only this had happened like 
you know, we shouldn't send our uncle to Guatemala next to that RF transmitter for the radio station because it fucked his pacemaker up. Maybe somebody was like, I'm going to find a solution right. to this, right? All, all props to you for following your dream and, and going along with it and, and whatever. My issue is that that information that then goes to the university, um, from my experience, I've never seen it in the public domain. And it often takes so long because of the inefficiencies of the universities for it actually to leak out into society to have a mass impact. But maybe we're leaking it into society through No, the nobody's podcast. listening. No. There's seven people who are having a drink and a spliff that are But maybe to one it. of them is an electromagnetic biologist. Well, then he needs to take care of his, like, uh, cleanliness because we've got <laughs> stoners going in and working on this shit. That's <laughs> not right. No, I, I... Okay, I agree with you, and I, I understand that you take a more... 360 approach always always you, it has to yes. for me it has to otherwise it, it's it's a re and it also there's a lot of frustration in that for me because oh my god <laughs> <laughs> scared the hell out of All me alright we'll just jump back in wow hello everybody sorry about that <laughs> like uh, I, I, the, the, the the pausing and the jumping back is that um randomly we just had a delivery of something that will take photos and stuff and everything but uh, uh so yeah so yeah for, for me it's a it's a 360 kind of approach do you mind editing this as well like yeah that i don't mind editing of... it but like that's based on your simulation based on correct it, and that's fine and that's absolutely. how people that's how but you're, people you're right i need life. to get over that because it not yeah because we're always limited to our our experiences and the way that we're processing information around us i am you are like we only have the data that we have in our minds and what we've experienced and then that is how our brains spin up well that's probably what's going on over there and mostly the time you know most of the time we're right it's a it's an evolutionary uh survival me mechanism but um i like the uh, i like the ability to cherry pick and maybe that's wrong, but I like the ability to cherry pick out of an article and be like, whoa, these people are making this thing. That's a cool core idea. Maybe like, you know, they all went to Chipotle afterward and, you know, yeah, and I th shared some queso and said racist things together. Oh, okay. wow. But, you know, but that doesn't affect my feeling about the core of the idea and the technology. Well, the idea and the technology. Ideas and technology are the lifeblood of why I got into technology. Mm. The the problem is, as I've got older, it seems that those dreams also damage the environment. Yeah. So, like, I, that's why I downsized, and that's why I downsized not only from a house, but also my power usage, my usage of the system, my interactions with people. I feel like life becomes distracting. Yeah. And, you know, I, I sometimes put myself in the place of these people. Would it, would my life, would it been different if I'd been a research, you know, in research or working at, you know, on a university or or chasing that that PhD or whatever, with hundreds of other people wanting that particular type of job. Now, without researchers, that people doing these things, we wouldn't have like, we wouldn't have uh, chemical. We wouldn't be able to fix a lot of the things that happen in the world. Yeah. My it, my my problem is that because I go so macro. Yeah, uh, it's it's difficult for me to celebrate an individual's ability and talent and merits because we need a thousand of that per people. Yeah, to make an impact. Yeah, uh, and you I, could have like give a fuck fatigue after a while because you're just unless it it proves to you on whatever your standards are or has the legacy that you're looking for, it's just another article, and I get that for sure. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean. Uh, I see some incredible technologies. Uh, I just, I just feel like the, I just feel like there should be more opportunities, more balanced opportunities based on what what you can achieve, what you can do and achieve, rather than who you are and where you are from and who put you there. Micro colonies. I'm telling you. I would move today. I want to try my shirt on. Yeah. Right. Let's finish this up. It's 54 minutes. Yeah. Um, uh, thanks for listening today I know we rambled today you're probably thinking you guys are insane that's fine too I agree with you maybe we just need uh, like a bit like Magneto maybe we need a, a glass cage with wireless been, signals like, to keep us we've been just pushing hours and I just needed to have like a talk you know yeah. like an unstructured out of the box you love having a go at me right it's almost like a mini argument what in the world
world? How am I having to go in? What in the world? Turns everything into oral puns. Uh, oh my god! I didn't <laughs> brought it back. It's called a callback. Um, it's called a callback. Yeah, in the you know kind of callback in the biz. Kind of callback in the biz. We're, you're talking dangerous territory here. We're like. <laughs> Right. sofas and stuff right okay let's wrap it up I yeah. need it because I'm going to need to edit this also because I was awkwardly chewing cucumber into the mic while you were away at the as beginning well. oh no 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 we're going to cut all that whole section I even was just then, nervous even then knocking everything yeah, yeah 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 all right guys we'll catch up with you soon uh, have a great day uh, I'll speak to you soon bye take care I'm just going to turn this on so we get in there you can support the show by heading to anchor.fm slash positive and clicking the support this podcast button or by checking out any of this week's sponsors. Subscribe to Positively Negative wherever you listen to podcasts, and you can hang out with us on Discord by visiting smarturl.it forward slash talkback. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. Yay! Bye!